Welcome to a new daily top ask reddit video. Today's topic. Serious, parents of reddit, what was a legit reason why you didn't let your son forward slash daughter have that friend over forward slash go to a sleepover? Attention. Serious, tag notice. Jokes, puns, and off topic comments are not permitted in any comment, parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the, serious, tag will be removed. Consider doing a NOMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Kid was on serious medication for major behavioral issues, the kid's sibling was the favorite. Parents would dump said unwanted kid at our house, without medication because it was good to take a break from antipsychotics. I say unwanted kid because he'd come over on an empty stomach and left for hours after the promised pickup time, while they took the other kid out to eat and shop. They also didn't offer snacks forward slash drinks and eventually banned reciprocal visits. It sucks that the parents were shitty. Kid tried to commit suicide at one point and was institutionalized where, wonder of wonders, not taking a weekend break from medication left him much more stable. Edit to answer, this happened about 10 years ago. CPS got involved after the kid was institutionalized and things got better for him at least. The ban on reciprocal visits happened after there were some strong words about their parenting decisions. Having kids doesn't fix relationship problems. When I was a kid my house was like a soup kitchen. Kids who had shitty home lives around my neighborhood would come over and hang out. My dad didn't care if they were at the house as long as they followed the rules. Some kids would push back on the rules my parents don't care if I do xyz my dad would always say okay fine you can go home and do xyz then he would hand the kid the phone and tell him to have his parents come get him. I never saw any of the kids actually call home. They would just toe the line. Looking back I just thought my dad was weird but now I realize he was actively pulling kids out of bad situations and offering them an alternative to their crappy home lives. I remember one particular month we planned a trip to a theme park and had four or five random neighbor kids come with us. Kind of redefined my understanding of the old saying that it takes a village to raise a kid. Your dad is a freaky legend. Thank you for helping to raise those children too. Those parents should serve jail time for neglecting their child. Or at least have their child taken away. He was a complete asshole with no respect for adults. Breaking point was when he put bleach in a spray bottle and chased our five-year-old around spraying him. His mother apologized hut never again. To hell with that kid, were the parents aware. She let them go in the backyard with her 13-year-old to watch them. He filled the spray bottle up with bleach secretly without anyone knowing apparently and took him behind a shed and held him down and sprayed him. When he started screaming is when the sister realized something was up. He was drenched in bleach, his skin was irritated all over from it. I told her he would never be allowed over there again. His mother was crying saying she could control him. My wife and I were shocked as we didn't anticipate anything like that could happen on a play date. Our little guy is very sensitive and took it very hard. He told me when I was taking him to school that he didn't want to play with him anymore and that he's not a nice person and makes him cry. I should emphasize this kid is also five, and slightly younger than ours. He walked down to our house by himself one day, and I told him he is not welcome in our house, he asked why, and I told him because he does bad things. I then walked him back home, no one in his house knew he had left. I told his mom that our child would no longer be playing with him, she said that IQA's being overdramatic and that they were just kids. I told her that if she thinks this is kid behavior she was in for a rough life when he gets older and reminded her she said herself that she could control him and he's five. What does she think is goji to happen as he gets older? She didn't say anything. I told her to let her son know to not knock on our door again. She was a chronic liar. My daughter met her in kindergarten. She lied constantly, about everything. One day my daughter asked us to help her put together a birthday card and make a homemade present for her friend's birthday, but when she brought the gifts to school it turned out the girl had lied about what day her birthday was. I didn't want to put down my daughter's first good friend, but I refused to have them spend more time together than was necessary. 
I was relieved when she started ending every story about something her friend had said with it's probably not true though. She outgrew that friend after a few months. Met the girl's parents later in the year. That poor kid never had a chance. Edit, I should have realized I left some next time on Drago Z type she eyes at the end of my last comment. The parents were concerned with themselves. They were divorced, and the mom was living with her new boyfriend. I got into a conversation with the mother during after school pickup parents let the kids run around on the playground with friends so there's some time to kill anyway, first half hour into our first encounter she goes into several major scandals between her and her ex-husband and forward slash or boyfriend, some of it pretty sexual in nature. One thing she always said was can you believe he'd do x horrible thing to my daughter. Regardless of whether the daughter had been involved. I got the vibe from them that their daughter was a pawn, and that their home life was chaotic. The ex-husband had faced hats, a record, and he asked an elementary school teacher if he could bring beer to field day. The field day thing happened much later, long after my daughter stopped hanging out w the other girl. Sometimes when I think my life is chaotic or messy I think of them. Eat it, damn you guys have some crazy stories. I had a similar friend growing up. We actually had a falling out and I was over her, then my teacher, 5th grade, took us aside and tried to force us to be friends again. The falling out didn't even happen at school. The girl actually took words that she said, claimed I said it, and came up with the crocodile tears during that intervention from the teacher. That's when I learned that teachers weren't gods and I was making the right choice limiting time around this girl. I had a friend when I was 14 who did something very similar. I liked the same boy she did, and unfortunately that boy preferred me to her, or at least showed me more attention. We had a huge falling out over it. At our school we had to an expedition thingy, it's called Duke of Edinburgh Award in the UK you get dumped in the mountains for a weekend and have to find your way to a point by yourselves, and our teacher decided to make us friends again by forcing us to be orienteering buddies. It was a fucking nightmare. The girl filled my water bottles with mud, tipped all my food away, told the other girls on the trip I was a lesbian and to not give me any water, hid the maps from me, repeated threw rocks at my head as we were hiking would wake me up every half an hour by kicking me in the shins, throwing my deodorant into the bushes etc. In the end I snapped and about a mile from the finish I hiked off on my own. Once I met my teacher, she couldn't understand why I wasn't in my group. I explained what had happened on the trip and she said we would discuss it on Monday. We were pulled into a meeting room and asked to explain ourselves the other girl burst into tears and recounted every single thing she had done to me but the other way around. I had no proof and no defense. As she'd told all the other girls I was gay, two of the other girls came forward and corroborated, and embellished, her story. I got kicked off the program and suspended. Fifteen years later it still horrifies me that the teacher refused to support or listen to me. My parents went to drop off my stuff at a friend's house because I wanted to spend the night. They walked in, and my dad said no pure coming home. She had two brothers, one was super nice, one was very touchy. Her dad then threatened my dad and said he can't take a child out of his home without his permission. My dad being 6'3 and a large dude got in his face, her dad looked like a string bean, and said he was taking me home right now. My dad told me later he had a really bad gut feeling something bad would have happened if I stayed. Her touchy brother is in jail now, for what I'm not even sure. Whoa 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 whoa. Your friend's dad said that your dad couldn't take you home without his permission. Did I read that right? That's exactly what he said to my dad. Since I was in his home, I couldn't leave without his permission. You can't take a child out of my home. This is my home, and I said she's staying is what I remember being said. I honestly thought my dad's head was going to explode after this dude said that and meant it. I was a situation that set off my early warning senses. We were staying at the house of the daughter of my in-law's friends. She had a three-year-old son. My daughter was five. They played well together, but I got some weird vibes that told me that my daughter shouldn't be crashing in the living room in a sleeping bag. I had her sleep with my wife in the guest bed while I slept on the couch. I kept a close watch on the kids the rest of the evening. The next day as we were leaving, the three-year-old basically tackled my daughter, he was big, she was very small, and tried to mount and hump her on the floor. I extracted her and told him that wasn't appropriate. My daughter laughed it off as him trying to wrestle with her. Once in the car I told my wife under no circumstances would our daughter ever be allowed back in that house, ever. She agreed. 
We later learn it that the then-boyfriend of the woman with the son used to let the boy watch hardcore porn with him. Mom found out when CPS got involved. You are, that kid's gonna have a lot of problems to deal with throughout his life. That's the kind of activity you'd expect from a three-year-old dog. Not a human being. That's just bizarre and concerning. Yep. You summed it up beautifully. Humping is for dogs, not for humans. I'm glad that CPS got involved. Three-year-olds shouldn't be watching hardcore porn in the first place.